of get out fixing no it's not get out fishing today it's get out fixing let me show you a situation we got right here this is how our day started let me turn this around you guys a real good look at it here look at that the fender cut into the tire yeah the tire's toast the tire might not be too good but that's why we keep a spare right over yonder so uh we got our work cut out for us here in the next little bit but we'll uh walk through it and see if we can uh show you what you do when your uh hub falls off your trailer get started fixing this thing and hopefully we can get this thing out of here today zerk in the middle of that thing is toast that is potentially what we don't want to see it's, could be a problem well, you know what guys sometimes this is fishing um, we went to the gas station this morning filled up with uh, fuel for the truck and the boat Jim thought he heard a noise on the tire and we checked the tire and uh, there's no oil no grease around the tire no smell or anything like that and so I didn't know what that that noise was and maybe the maybe it was the hub that had already started to go out but it had plenty of grease in it so i'm not exactly sure why the the hub failed today but fortunately truth we made it to the boat ramp this morning and i'm not sure how we did that because if you've ever been down uh, 42 to sharon harris lake it's like a road's like a snake's back out there and, um, a snake's back a snake's back it's okay. crooked as a snake's back have okay. you ever seen a snake's back it's pretty, uh, yeah it's pretty crooked yeah. so that's one of the country sayings that uh paul knows about if he watches this video he'll know crooked as a snake's back and so how we made it there safely today i have no idea so you know we uh yeah the good lord watching out for us that's exactly why just a quick update we checked out the we got the trailer jacked up you guys saw that We've checked out the spindle. There's a flat spot on the bottom of the spindle that hopefully is not going to be problematic. I think the threads around it are good enough to be able to get a nut on it and get a hub put on it. We went to AutoZone, picked up a hub assembly and a, and a castle nut, new cotter pin, all that, because all that's gone. We're headed back to the boat ramp now to put that on, and hopefully we're just going to try to get the nut on there get the boat out of the water and limp it over to the boat shop in Anger, North Carolina, and see if I can get them to, to doctor up that axle a little bit. Headed back to the lake, and you guys can catch up with us there. So guys, what we have left on here is the, the, one of these bearings come apart, it looks like, and it's trying to get the race knocked off of there and get the seal off of there. So we can clean up the spindle, see if we can get the, get the hub back on it. Broke off the uh, grease circuit in there, but I think I can get enough grease in it to get it to the to the shop. We're not going to go very fast; it's going to kind of take it easy. But uh, yeah, just trying to get this uh, get this knocked off of here, and we'll get it cleaned up and try to get the other hub put on it. Alright guys, so if you can see right here, Tim, if you want to zoom in, we've got the, got the hub on. So, got enough threads, we're going to try to put the nut on. This is not the final repair on this thing, okay? We're kind of a dire situation. When you break down on the boat dock, you do what you got to do to get your boat home and your trailer home. It's going straight to the boat shop. we we'll get somebody to, to fix the axle on this thing if we can or replace it. Weld the new one on, whatever we need to do to it. And just get there as safely as we can right now. But got that on last thing put on is a castle nut tighten it down the best we can hopefully we'll be on the road here shortly well guys there she is got her back on the trailer so we're gonna limp it on back to Andrew and see if we can get her fixed up and had a little, a little problem with the engine uh, this morning as well and I was acting up a little bit with Lake James so we're gonna see if they can do some work uh, look at the engine as well. Something slipping in the back of it. Hopefully it's nothing too major, but 
yeah been an eventful day but we did catch a couple fish today check it out in there. It's got to be a perch. Oh, it's a bass. A little baby bass out there. What are you using? Some sexy shad. Oh, it always works. It never let us down. We sit there and we try to talk ourselves into all kinds of things. But they rig still should have Look worked. at that. Yeah. First cast. Sexy shad. Yeah. You got him? Oh, yeah. Well, maybe not. I don't know. That's a good two or three pounder. Yeah, that's a three pounder. Good job, buddy. Been sitting there the whole time. We've just been screwing around, huh? Beautiful fish, bud. Sure is. First cast, Brian. Yes, I know. That's why. Oh, by the way, today's our uh, get out fishing anniversary. Happy anniversary. Two years. <laughs> Two years. You got a pair of pliers, Andy? Not it is stuck in his lip. Yeah. Now why are we screwing around with this? Thing? Yeah. Sorry. You use the, uh, is that an Ozark trailer? Or mm hmm. Yeah. That's what I had on originally. Come on. And I took it off and put this booyah on, and I'm not sure it's as consistent as that one is. Look at the fish, bud. Good one. Good? First cast, Brian. I know. <laughs> he tail flopped me. Got me wet. What a punk. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of what to do when you lose a tire at the boat ramp. If you go want to know fishing the truth, anyway. We go, we go fishing anyway. We absolutely did. And if you want to know the truth about it, it broke down the second we put the boat in the water, Jim pulled up. The entire tire uh, fell off. I've got some uh, good grease on my nose. That's great. Um, <laughs> yeah, we pulled up. As soon as the weight come off of the, the hub, it, it laid flat. It laid flat. The tire buckled over exactly how you saw it. Uh, I just I was already hooked to it, obviously, and so just drug it up into a parking place, and we went fishing. Because uh, what else are you going to do at 5:30 in the morning? Nobody's open, so we went and caught a couple of fish that we just showed you. So hopefully, it give you some ideas of what you can do if you ever get stuck in this situation. But I hope you don't, because it's a whole lot better to get out fishing than it is to get out fixing. That's your <laughs> note for today. Till next time, get out fishing. Hey guys, I wanted to give you a quick update on the boat. I do have it home now, as you can see behind me here. Uh, I was not able to get it fixed at the original place that I took it to, so I had to get it picked up and taken to a trailer place. Had to have a new axle put underneath it. It cost about $7.50. I uh, had it done at a local place here, and the guy did an awesome job with it. Let me show you what he did. So I ended up having to uh, have an entirely new axle put underneath the boat. Square axle, the old one was a round axle. The new hubs, new bearings, all the way around. Got to clean the grease out of this hub, but I did get it home this week, and uh, happy for that. So, last thing we got to do is fix the prop. I think we got a spun prop hub on this old Mercury. Got that ordered. Hopefully, be back and running before too long. Thanks for watching. We will catch you guys in the next video.